Hello and Assalamualaikum. This is Hume's method in solving ordinary differential equation. So this is the given uh, problem. Actually, this problem is the same as the problem uh, we presented in applying the Euler's method in previous video. So the initial value given is uh, y equal to 20 at x equal to 0 0.5. And we want to find what is the value of y when x is equal to 1.5. The step size given is 0 0.5. Let's rearrange the ODE first so that we can isolate the dy dx on the left hand side of the equation, which later will be used to calculate the first derivative at a particular point. So this is the arrangement dy dx is equal to 100 plus y divided by 5x. Let's recall the formula of the Hune's method. Two steps, predictor and then corrector. To make it easy, let's create a table that contains the few variables within this formula. So this is the table that I created. It's up, to, it's up to you if you want to add more columns. For example, you want to add xi plus 1 column. Uh, so, uh, or maybe you want to add another column that calculate the average uh, gradient uh, in the correctors formula. Uh, it's up to you, but for me, this is uh, already enough. Now, let's fill up the table with the information that we might have. Um, actually, the information that we have comes from the initial value given in the question. So the first three columns, i0, x0 is equal to 0 0.5, and y0 is equal to 20. Let's further calculate the rest of the column. Uh, we can calculate the derivative at point x0, y0, uh, in which correspond to the first derivative at coordinate 0 0.5, 20. So we substitute the coordinates into the newly arranged ODE. Uh, which is 100 plus y naught divided by 5 times x naught, so we got 48. This is the first derivative at point 0 0.520. So let's update our table, 48 as the first gradient at that particular point. We may complete the predictor's formula now, um, which the end product of the predictor is y1 naught. Uh, this is the formula. So y naught is 20. Uh, the gradient we just calculate just now is 48, and the step size is 0 0.5. Simply substitute them into the formula, and we get the value of y1 naught is equal to 44. So y1 is actually the value. Uh, y1 naught is the va the temporary value, which later will be used in the correctors. Let's update the value. Uh, of the 44 into the y1 node. Now we can go to the second step, which is the correctors formula. First, we need to find the first derivative at the second point. So the second point is x1 uh, and y1 node. So x1 is actually uh, the point uh, which is one step further from the initial point. So the initial point is x node equal to 0 0.5 the step size is 0 0.5 meaning that x1 is equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 equal to 1 so x1 is actually 1 and y1 naught is the one that we just evaluated uh, in the previous page so we substitute these two values into the ODE formula to get the first gradient at this particular point so the gradient at this particular point is 28.8. We update the table 28.8. And then we can further calculate the value of y1 by using the correctors formula. So we simply substitute all the values we have. And we got y1 is equal to 39.2. So is this the final answer that we are looking for within this question? Actually not. Uh, we just do it halfway. Uh, this is y1. So y1 corresponds to x1, 
which is x1 is 1 but the question wants you to calculate what is the value of y when x equal to 1.5 so it means that we need to do another calculation of row another row calculation um, like the one we just did to get the value of y when x is equal to 1.5 so let's update the table we have calculated just now y1 equal to 39.2 we can bring it down uh, to the second row uh, where x1 is equal to 1 y1 equal to 39.2 so this is what i said just now uh, this is the value of y1 here corresponds to the x1 equal to 1 the one that we are looking for is actually the value of y at x equal to 1.5 now we calculate further within the second row we use the same technique as before so we calculate first uh, the first gradient the first derivative sorry the first derivative or the gradient at uh, x1 y1 so we got 27.84 applying predictors applying predictors will give this answer which is the y2 naught equal to 53.12 then we calculate the gradient of the second point which is at x2 and y2 naught so we use this the ODE equation substitute these two values and we will get 20.416 and then finally um, we use the correctors formula to calculate y2 and we will get 51.264 so in this final row uh, it shows that x2 is equal to 1.5 which is the point that we are interested on uh, and it corresponds to y2 uh, this concludes that y2 is the value we are looking for the value that the question asks where at x equal to 1.5 y is equal to 51.264 that's all for this time thank you very much